work? What if we overload the processor? Could fry the whole system. Then we salvage it for parts. You really think anyone's gonna miss this robot? Now hand me that screwdriver. If this little personality upgrade works, it's gonna be the funniest damn thing in the park. Man, I can't wait to see the looks on the other guys' faces when they try to talk to it. There. All done. One slightly raiderized robot ready for duty. Got it.
You need something, boss? Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Watch yourself, boss. Because we sure will be. If you come across any herbologist crazies, just ignore them. Told those freaks to stick to their camp. We should run this place. Not some little greenie Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, I don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. The new OB, huh? I reckon you're here to talk to Nisha. She's in charge. <laughs> Don't look like much to me. You want to talk? Talk to Nisha. Hey there. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Last I checked, I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet. You killed Coulter. With Gage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss. But that title hasn't meant anything for a long time now. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's dead wrong. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. What do you mean by keeping the peace? It means do what you want, but don't get caught. The last thing I need is the operators and Pat breathing down my neck. We can take either of them one on one, but I don't like my odds when it comes to double duty. So keep- Mm-hmm. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. He never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. I'm gonna do things my way, whether you approve or not. Oh yeah? I just have a few things for you to consider before you go off and do things your way. You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair, or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises. 
and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. I'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Keep your knife sharp. No one likes sloppy work. Your story, cause I heard like ten different versions from ten different guys, all of them swearing it's true. And when you get a story like that, well, you just know there's gotta be some truth to it. The way this story starts is a mystery. Nobody knows. Damn, Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. South of Boston. I heard he bit the head off the leader's dog. The head clean off. Dixie. I'm surprised Coulter lasted as long as he did. Pretty sure we all wanted him dead. Downtown straight to a rival gang's territory. Walked out with their leader's son just because the kid said some mean things about Atlas's mother. But the biggest story was that spot way north of Boston. Uh, what, what the hell was the name of it again? It doesn't matter, I guess, because it ain't there no more. Uh, Andover. Andover. I think that was it. Somewhere up there. Anyway, this little shithole of a town. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Bet Gage is happy he has a new ass to kiss. Not sure how he put up with Coulter all that time.
must have pulled a few strings if someone like you is in charge now. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Damn Nuka-Cola song stuck in my head again. Need something, boss. You need something, boss.
You need something, boss. Not only did someone survive the gauntlet, but he took on Coulter and won. Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she deserved it. I've been a lot worse for a cigarette. <laughs> I remember. It's gotta be around here somewhere. You can head on in, old boss. is a vault dweller. Or iced a vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Hey. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it, when you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? <laughs> what were you discussing when I walked in? Well, you, Overboss. You're an unknown quantity, and we're interested in knowing who we're dealing with. So we'd like if you answered the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oaf? Bored? Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal, though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountain top. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, We'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. Should be a couple odd jobs available if you want to get your hands dirty. Talk to Mags. Lizzie asked you to volunteer for one of her tests, don't. <sighs> I always thought the parlor was a bit garish, but Mags and William have taken a shine to it, and two Trump won, I guess.
walking around this place at night? Even without the bodies, it's hard to believe they ever let children in here. Never did get why Coulter brought in three gang to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. speak to know they weren't born into this life but they sure as hell were born for it i shit you not i picked him right up totally raged out and then i just bam slammed him back down we'd all considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point suppose you just beat us to it I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. Waste of time now. No one's topping your performance. me frisk visitors but you get special treatment sometimes you gotta ask yourself how high were they when they built this place welcome to the nest boss we was wondering when you'd make it down here. If you wear the collar, it's because you asked for it. Ain't no one's a slave that don't want to be. Let's it all hang out. Yeah. can handle their own shit without bothering me about it. You need help finding your place here? No. No! I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the kennels if you can't. Ooh, life's too short for bullshit. <coughs> Gotta find a way to get your last at you. day. Not Every sure I'm buying day. this new overboss thing. <coughs> as long as you care about yourself, you'll do what I tell you. Ha! You might make it out of here alive after all. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of it. 
You might be over, boss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. I'm not here to make us friends. I'm here to make us some caps. I think we can all respect caps, if not each other. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. Coulter was weak. Why'd you follow him at all? Been wondering that ourselves. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what he achieved. I think you're a bunch of ungrateful children. Careful there, boss. We ain't ungrateful. Just fed up. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy, not even the disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch, so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast, but Gage put the brakes on that. Got us together and promised he'd find someone to deal with cold. I'm not cold, so that better not happen to me. Yeah, sure, boss. I get it. I do. We're totally willing to give you a chance. We are. Well, let's cut to the chase. You're gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other game. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, yeah, boss. Not from my guys, all right? You got enough to worry about without a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. You know what? I think we're not so different, me and you. I want you to have this. Consider it a token of our mutual understanding and respect. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. If you can take something, it's yours. Came a long way to see this place. Traders here are no better than slaves. Poor bastards. Well, well, look who it is. Are you here to grace my humble market stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir? Lose the attitude, or lose something a lot more valuable. Sorry. I know you didn't ask for this. It's just hard not to be bitter, you know? We do all the work, then the gangs reap the rewards. Pretty sweet setup, at least for you. But I guess it doesn't really matter what I think, does it? As long as I'm wearing this collar, I'm no better than a slave. Hey, it's not my fault things are like this. I just got here. Never said it was. Just figured you should know what you're getting into. <sighs> now, if you need guns or ammo, I'm the one you talk to. And before you ask, yeah, everyone pays. Even you. Let's see what you got. You got it.
gotta keep searching. Can't give up now. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. The overboss returns. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopaths? Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. All the gangs are on board. I knew you had it in you. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. It's gonna feel good to be in charge. Yeah, sure will. Be real nice to have this place all under our control. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. No thanks. I got this. Suit yourself. Change your mind. I'll be around. No shortage of suckers in the Commonwealth makes life easy, so long as you're careful.
Amen.